What is the chief end of man? Man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy Him forever. That's why we were made. That's why all things were made to glorify God. God created all things for His own glory. He created a stage for His own glory, and it is this earth. This earth is a stage for His glory. I mean, drive through the roads of Michigan these days, and you see the wonderful leaves, the trees. You see the rivers and the lakes, the wonderful beauty that God has given you in this state. Do you not have to pause and say, what a great God we have? This earth is a stage for His glory. And we are part of this creation to bring glory to God. And we are the only ones who can self-consciously, who can intentionally bring glory to God. A flower can do it, a tree can do it, a river can do it. But the river, the lake, the flower, the tree can do it through us. That we use all creation for the glory of God, and that we will rejoice in it. That's what creation is for. And my dear friends, and I address especially the young ones among you, that is the best kept secret in our churches for a real joyful life. A real joyful life. That you forget yourself and make your life all about the glory of God. That is the key to true happiness. Why? Because that's what you were made for. You were made to glorify God. And you will only find joy. You will only come into your own when not everything is always, always about you. I mean, how much energy and how much time do we invest in thinking, oh, how am I perceived? What reputation do I have? How many people applaud me and pat me on my shoulder? I'm, I'm almost sure that most of our energy goes into that. But if we learn to forget about ourselves at least for a while and see how wonderful it is to live for the glory of God, then you will find something that you might have never experienced before. True joy, regardless of circumstances.